Now this is the little steam winding engine which I've not seen before at the Black Country Museum. So let's just have a go and have a peek inside. See what we can see. That's quite a beauty, isn't it? Apparently still works perfectly well and they've run it on their uh, special event weekends here at the Black Country Museum. Yes, I shall make sure I see that next time I get the opportunity. It'd be nice to see it warm and smell the warm oil. These are great little things, aren't they? This wonderful little mechanical indicator showing the depth of the of the cage in the pit shaft. I can't get inside this little building. I can only assume that this is the boiler for the winding engine. And look at this wonderful old haystack boiler. Circa 1770 something it says on there. Absolutely marvellous piece of iron riveting. Wouldn't hold water now I don't think. Absolutely riddled with holes. Oh, what a splendid survivor. Look at that. I think that's a patch that's been put on the boiler at some time to plug a hole. Would you really have wanted to plug a hole and then put pressure back into a vessel that size with steam inside? Now that's the winding drum for the engine on the outside of the engine house. So the, the rope and the drum would have run across and up over the wheel at the top and then straight down the shaft. So there's the winding engine house and there's the head gear and then the shaft would have run straight under the ground, vertical drop and the wagons would have been brought to the surface and loaded onto these uh, rails, slipped across onto the rails and then wheeled off to wherever the, the coal needed to go. What a joy this place is. Absolutely fantastic.